Here is UWL head football coach Mike Schmidt as we preview tomorrow's regular season home finale with the UW Eau Claire Blue Golds coming into town. Kickoff is at 11.35 tomorrow, broadcast on WXOW. Lacrosse is 5-3 and three overall, 3-2 three and two in the WIC. Eau Claire is 2-5 and five overall mm -hmm. and 1-4 and four in the WIAC. Coach, let's first talk about uh, last week's game, hard fall game down at uh, number three, Whitewater. Just fell a little short, 21 to 17. Just what you took from that game last week against the Warhawks. Yeah, what a great football game. I, I think the second half uh, was just a tremendous Division three football game. It, uh, obviously, we made mistakes in it, but it was uh, two of the better teams in the country, I feel like, uh, really going at it. And, um, you know, I thought we showed some, some, some times where we looked like we belonged, and, and then obviously we made some mistakes down the stretch. Uh, which is why we couldn't beat them. Uh, but, hey, that's a great, great hard-fought game by both sides. Uh, they earned it for sure. You know, I, th I feel like we squandered a, a great defensive performance in the first half uh, by you know, only being up 3 to nothing. But, you know, when you're up 10 to nothing late in the third against uh, at Whitewater at, at that place is, is, is a pretty good thing. And, and unfortunately, we couldn't finish it. And, uh, you know, what? We, we learned a lot from it, I think. We'll take a lot from that experience, and, and hopefully it'll be good for us moving into this week against Eau Claire. Your team's mentality this week, tough loss, yeah. but you got to go right back on the horse, as they yeah, say. So yeah. how's I practice mean, been this week? No, it's, it's been fine, you know, and, and for us, um, you know, obviously we, we fell short of what our goals are going to be, you know, and, and we're disappointed by that, and there's, there's, that's okay, too. I, I think it's, it's okay to, to feel like that, um, but you know what? I, I always say to our guys that I want guys on our team who uh, are, are going to show up and play football. They, they're not here to be just because they're good football players. Being a good football player isn't their identity. Being a football player is their identity. And uh, they just show up and go play. And, and I tell the story of uh, there's, a, there's a guy who, who, who ended up winning a bunch of Iditarod dog races. And, and he started, he didn't have any world champs. He didn't have any you know, great breeding lines that he had. And, and uh, he had a, a one dog that would just run into the ground. He said, I'm going to breed that dog with with every other one of my, and, and any other dog is going to have that dog's lines in it. And, and the dog's name was Zorro, and it just would run a hole into the ground. And, and I say, I, I want our program to be a bunch of Zorros. And, you know, I think we were pretty fired up by the fact that our, our hometown newspaper writes something about, you know, we only have pride to play for now. Well, that's all we ever have to play for. It's Division Three football. It, it's just about pride. Uh, and, and our guys have a lot of pride in what we're doing here. They know that this group of guys, when we have success, when we win those big games down the road, that the group that's been here before uh, right now and the group that's here now is going to be a part of that legacy uh, when we do get to that spot. And, and they sure believe in what we're doing as a program. So to say that we don't have anything to play for just couldn't be more wrong because really the only thing we have to play for is all that we really care about and so you know at the end of the day that's all that really matters to us it matters to our guys so they'll they'll show up and play their best game on saturday uh returning home you're four and zero at home this year just kind of what of advantage you've had playing here uh this season have yeah. a chance to go undefeated yeah it's been nice having that this year we've we've for whatever reason whatever it's been we've played really well and for whatever reason, on the other side, we haven't played well on the road, you know, and, and we've talked about that a lot as a team, as a staff. We've, we've looked at both of those things. You know, what are we doing? Why are we? And, and it's not only that we've won games. We've, we've looked really good in, in, in most of our home games, especially defensively. We've played, our defense has showed up and played incredible games, I think, at home so far this year. So I'm excited about that, how they're going to play tomorrow. But for whatever reason it's been, our defense has really showed up. Uh, in in the, these home games here, and, and would expect the exact same thing tomorrow. A uh, special day tomorrow. You honor your 24 seniors. It's also Veterans Day here. We, our annual thing we do with that. Just kind of what you talk about with these uh, 24 seniors playing their last regular home. Yeah, game. I'm I'm like devastated. I'm sad. I'm sick to my stomach to say goodbye to them here in Lacrosse. Uh, and I know we get two weeks left with them here. To really, eight days left with them here, which really makes me sad. Because uh, this is this is my first group group of recruits. Uh, it's the first group of guys that that I've been with for four years that have you know been able to say I believed in you when you first got here when all this wasn't going on and and uh, and so I decided to play four years with you. You know and that's really special. I think as a coach to say goodbye to them is tough, but I think it's really cool to get to honor them tomorrow. And I I think that what we get to say to our veterans here in the community of lacrosse. Um, is really awesome for tomorrow. And I know I've had a lot of people from the community reach out and just say how much that means to them, whether that's the Veterans Day breakfast on, Mon on Monday that the Athletics Department puts on, uh, and certainly the game and the honors that, that we have remembering our veterans, especially the local ones. But you know what's really cool is we get a chance to see that all the time in the Hall of Honor. 
uh, in the stadium and get a chance to show our recruits that and what that's meant to Don Weber being a big part of that donation to help with that here in our community. And then, you know, obviously the dedication of the sports complex is the Veterans Memorial Sports Complex is really important and really special that we get to be a part of every day. So for us, we get to kind of do that all the time. It's neat to have a day where the community gets to be involved with that. Let's talk about the Blue Goals a little bit. They've lost three straight. They're under a new or a first year head coach. Yeah. Uh, lost 40 to 12 last week at Stevens Point. Just talking about what you expect from the Blue Goals. Well, they're a good team and they're really well coached. There's no doubt about that. You know, they they knocked off St. Thomas obviously early in the year that I'm sure everybody will will continue to talk about. Um, but they've boy, they've played other teams really tough. They played they played Whitewater tough at Whitewater. Um, I think they're coached really well. I think they give you some big time problems offensively when in trade shifts motions that you got to make sure you deal with because if you don't if you're not locked in if you don't deal with it on one play it can be a touchdown and and the way they run the ball is is really good so you know I think it's been a challenge getting our defense ready to for that and, and getting them ready to go against that and then I think you know on the other side of the ball it's uh, making sure you know what their looks are. You know they, they're not running a bunch of different stuff. Uh, that's that's that you know that you'd see. But you got it. Evans got to know. He's got to be be able to diagnose what's happening and where to go with the football. And you know so far he's been he's done a good job with that. And we just got to be able to stay away from the turnovers against them. They take care of the football really really well. So got to take and that that's been an issue for us is that when we take the ball away we're really good. When we don't, you know, we can we can go toe to toe with other teams. So, you know, I think for us, we got to make sure that we can try to get the football away, and, and Evans got to be good protecting the football. Again, UWL and UW Eau Claire on Saturday. It will be honor our, our 24 seniors on the team. It's also Veterans Day, and again, a reminder: kickoff is at 11:35. It's also broadcast on WXOW, and of course, broadcast on WKTY. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.